this is my favorite part of my house to decorate it is the outside of our party room and it's a nice flat front so there's lots of area to put decorations I put this year I got lots of the small wreaths and put them all along my fence I just love the way that looks Although next year I'm going to hang the wreaths at the bottom because of the humidity around here. It's been really hard to keep them up. I keep having to go tape them every day as the weather changes. Look at this amazing wooden tree that I found. These were actually in my head to make this year and I just didn't get around to it. And then somebody was selling this one for $20. So I went scoop it up and I am definitely making some of these next year, so cute. So I just put it right here outside of um, our shop, but I'm sure there's a better place for it. But for this year, that works out. And then I have lots of Christmas trees. I want even more, but this is all I had this year. So this is one of the trees that I had got from Target. It is in an antique shrimp basket, and I added like a little greenery to the tree just to decorate it a little bit more because I didn't put ornaments or anything on it so I just threw some greenery and some pine cones and all in there and that made it look a little bit more substantial and it is pre-lit then I made this little bench because I felt like it needed a little something right here and then I had these outdoor pillows and I thought they were perfect because they're a little bit more neutral since I have so much red and stuff going on and this is just a bucket from Kirkland's that I put a little bit of greenery in it. And then these little trees, I think at one time they lit up, but I got them for a few bucks at a garage sale. And I really liked them because they look like candles, but they're not. They're plastic. And I wanted a little more white out here. And then this is my, I think it was a six foot tree I had got from Target, the one that was in a Target haul. And I put it in this galvanized bucket with just some drop cloth at the bottom and all I did was make some drop cloth garland I just tied a bunch of strips of a uh, drop cloth onto a string to make a little garland and I just love it and then this is the ribbon that I like to use to decorate all over so I just made some little bows and stuck them on there and then have a joy sign in the middle I didn't put any lights on this tree now this tree did not come flocked what I did was, I'm going to call it the goop on method. This is paint on here. So I just put a lot of paint on my paintbrush and I would just drop it onto the leaves. And I really like the way it looks. It's nice and thick and it'll stay there. I won't have to do it again. I find with the, I like the spray paint method too, where you just kind of spritz it. But I really wanted something thicker for these trees. So that way from far away, it really looks like they have snow on the leaves and then I wanted to make a custom sign right here that said the barn Christmas tree farm and I had it all designed and everything and I just did not get a chance to make it so I'll save that for next year and this is an old bucket my parents dropped off they had some greenery in it and they I was like you want the greenery I'm like not really but I want the bucket so I'll put it out here and that's another tree that I got from the dollar, uh, I mean from Target, from a Target haul. I think this is a two foot tree and that was a three foot tree. And then this was a six foot tree that I had gotten from Target. And then I just have a little reindeer that I got from a garage sale one year. This is a galvanized bucket from Kirkland's. And then I have some um, like Christmas plaid umbrellas that I if I find in my garage sales I always pick them up and they go in my Christmas decorations and they look perfect out here this is just a wreath I had I feel like a berry wreath would look good right here but I didn't have one so I just put that up I didn't want to put a green wreath because I got lots of green wreaths and I felt like I needed something different on my door so that'll be something I'll be looking for next year is a different wreath to put on this door and then on the top of my lamps I just put a little bit of greenery and a ribbon just to have them decorated this is a noel porch sign that i had made so around here uh french is in our heritage so i like to do a lot of noel and stuff and french signs this thing is so cool it's an old mop bucket that i bought for a few bucks at a, a garage sale and i love it and i just put some wood that I had laying around in there a little bit of greenery this is another one of those little trees that I got from my target haul 
and I believe I got this little pot from Hobby Lobby. It's just something I had around the house and I just put the little tree in there. And then on top of my awning, I just have some garland and stuff in there and it just looks so good hanging down. So this wreath, let me show you, I have this on all my windows on the outside and it's just a cheap, a cheap wreath that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby. But what I did is I just cut up some garland and some different kind of greenery and just weaved it in there with the cheap wreath and it really made it full and look way more expensive for not a lot. So I think these wreaths were like $10 at Hobby Lobby and then maybe I spent another 10 on garland for all the wreaths that I did and I have a lot so yeah a wreath with all this greenery would probably be like $40. We're gonna say these were like 12. I have to split it up between all of them. And I like the ribbon hanging down. So what I did to make this ribbon, it is three different ribbons. So this is a ribbon, this is a ribbon, and this is a ribbon. And I just put them all together to make this thick ribbon. And I love it hanging from the top. But like I said, next year it might be hanging from the bottom because it was hard to keep that ribbon up with the humidity we have around here. Okay, I know this is so tacky, but my plants aren't looking too hot in this little planter I have. So I totally just buried some fake poinsettias for Christmas. <laughs> But it looks good. They kind of look real, right? And then this cool apple basket. I think this was in one of my hauls that I got a garage sale. I had another one of these pillows, so I stuck it in there with a little bit of greenery. This ladder I had picked up off the side of the road and just been hoarding it and didn't know what to do with it. And I had this blank spot, so I thought it would look great right there. So I just put some garland at the top. And then I have this little Santa. It's very country and he looks so good on this ladder. And then I got this cookie jar. I think this was also in one of my hauls and it was just a perfect shade of green for Christmas. So I put that right there and it's actually stayed. So that is the outside of the party room. So this is the front of my house. I have two more of those big wreaths hanging on the windows and then you remember those magnolia garlands that were in my Target haul? I ended up putting one over each arch. And y'all, I know I still gotta paint my stucco. It's gonna get done, 2020, it's happening. So my stucco is gonna be this light color that kinda looks like a, a frame right now. It's gonna be on all the stucco. So I hung the magnolia garland and then also that berry garland that I got, I put that in there to make it look more Christmassy. And then I felt like it needed something on the side, so I just made a ribbon, I mean a bow with the ribbon that I like, and put that up. I didn't decorate this a lot, I definitely feel like I need more stuff here, but I just didn't have anything else. So this is my entrance, you see I can definitely make this more Christmassy, I just ran out of stuff. And then I put the magnolia garland on top of the double doors with the berry garland. And these are my magnolia wreaths that I keep up pretty much year round, and I just put uh, that plaid ribbon on the bottom and then of course the little banana dog he was cold so we had to put some little slippers on him and something on his ear and then I have another one of those wreaths right here now for next year I think I would like to put a tree right here because you can see it from the road but then you'd also be, be able to see it from inside from this window and this window I got like this weird area right here so I think a big tree right here will look good. So I'll be on the lookout for that next year. I don't do anything in my yard. I just have the little lighting thing that the kids light that like that put the lights on your house. I just don't like to put stuff out in my yard. I pretty much just put everything on my house. When you walk into my house, you walk into the foyer. I have this brand new china cabinet that I just put here that I absolutely love. I decorated it a little bit for Christmas. I have this basket umbrella that was in one of my haul videos and I just put some Christmas greenery in it with a little ribbon and hung it on there. And then those magnolia wreaths from my Target haul, this is where I hung them. And I have a few decorations in there but not too many have these little um, reindeers that my cousin made that are absolutely adorable. 
I have some old wooden spools that I had picked up when we were in Texas, and then I got my family of gnolls. And then up here, I have some poinsettias and some snowman. I had picked up this big snowman from JCPenney last week, and then I had these little ones that match perfectly, so I put three of them around. And then on this side, I have the bench and I just put a little Christmas throw with a simple pillow. And then I have some old ice skates that I had bought at a garage sale. So I hung them up with a little bit of ribbon. And this is some greenery that I have year round and I just added in some berries to make it Christmassy. And I thought it would look good with a little sweater hanging. So I just put a sweater right there. And then that's the little baby's knit cap that she wears and it just looks so cute. I think it looked good to have like maybe a matching scarf and hat and gloves, like a sweater material. That would look cute hanging right here too. And then this is my living room. All I have here is my stockings, which are a mess because this is like the one thing that the baby keeps messing with. I had to pull out all the berries and everything right here um because she kept trying to eat them so i think next year will be easier so i had them decorated all cute and then my son came and wrote the name for each one which i thought was sweet and she actually didn't rip that off so these stockings i bought last year from walmart and they all had fringe on them and the boys i just cut the fringe off and the girls i left the fringe on and then i had all kind of cute stuff hanging on them to decorate a little bit and the letters, the first letters of their names, but like I said, the baby has just destroyed this, so next year it'll be better. And then I have my little bench with some little throw blankets. I don't really have any Christmas pillows, but I actually just ordered some yesterday from Kirkland's. They had this amazing chenille plaid pillows on sale for less than $10, so I ordered a few of them, and that will be perfect for next year. So I usually don't put a tree in a house. This is the first year I actually put a tree in the house because I had this pencil tree and it's worked out perfect because the baby can't really reach it and all I did was I decorated it like my tree outside I did the goop on method with the the paint to make it really thick and then I did the burlap garland not burlap, drop cloth garland, and I just put some pine cones in there, and the kids came home with these cute little ornaments they had made in their gifted class. So we hung those up, and then I just have the joy sign. Then these are all my presents. These are real presents. So this is how I do my presents. I don't know if y'all like me or not. What I do is I wrap all my presents and then I arrange them how I want them to look and then I put the ribbons on. That way you can see all the ribbon. And I like to do, this is how I've always decorated my presents. I like to do the craft paper from the packing section at Walmart, that's what I use. And then some twine and a little greenery. And I usually like to do like a big tag with their name on it, but I knew the first thing the baby was gonna do was gonna pull that off. So she hadn't really messed with this greenery, so that worked out. And then I have their picture this year with Santa. Look how cute. I have it framed in a big frame, and I love that it's out. So this is definitely gonna be something I'll be doing every year. And then I have some the greenery that I've been putting on the presents. I just have the extras right there. That way if I wrap more presents, it's handy have a little container this was also in one of my haul videos with some peppermints and just some flowers and some candy canes so this is our little gift section right here and then we have all our cute pictures at the top which we need to re redo family pictures because we have an extra person now and then right here do y'all remember this from a haul video so it had like that uh that gathered fabric around it and I pulled that off and then I added this and this I'm sorry the lighting's not gonna be great right here and it looks so cute now I actually brought it to my show to sell and it didn't sell so I'm like I am keeping this but I know had I staged it like this and posted it for sale no doubt this little set would have sold 
when you have a vision like this, you kind of got to show people it for it to, it to sell. I don't think most people would think to do this. They would have definitely, I'm sure plenty of people pass this up at a thrift store. But I saw the potential. This is my kitchen. I really don't do anything in the kitchen because I don't like it. It's not my style. So I just kind of leave it. And then in the dining room, sorry, the lighting's going to be bad. But I have this big wreath hanging. And then I have a little bit of a tablescape where I just have, these were in a haul video as well, these placemats. And then these galvanized chargers I leave year round. And then I have this little setup. And then y'all, look at this huge tarnished silver tree. One of my customers came, stopped at my house to pick something up. And she's like, I have this tray. Do you want it? Uh, yes, I want it. So I thought it would look perfect under the greenery I already had down. It just kind of lifts it up and makes it look really cute. So I kind of keep it simple in here because we do use our dining room. And here's a little table I have. And I just put some different peppermints out. And then I got all these little birds, which this is the baby bird, but I need to try to find a smaller one like these. And then this is the Brandon bird. So my teenager, he wears glasses and he likes top hats. So when I saw this bird at Target, I had to have it. The other birds come from the family dollar. So cute. And then of course, you know, I like decorating with my Christmas books. And then these pictures I already had up, but this one I found at a garage sale. Now I made the frame to go around it, but when I saw this painting, I think it was in a different frame. Oh, I just loved it. Like I just want to jump inside of it and be wherever this is. I love it. So I made this frame to put around it because I thought it went with my other frames and looked really good right here. So that's just a little simple setup. This is my little Charlie Brown Christmas tree I had gotten from Target, from a Target haul, and I just put it in a enamel cup that I had, and I have this little enamel piece to kind of tie it together. Some old glass bottles with just some little twigs in it. So I collect a lot of old glass bottles, and people don't know what to do with them. I like to just tie them in a bunch of three, and then put some little twigs in them, and they look great. Okay, so this is my main... Christmas area. This is my screened in porch, which is good because, like, I can keep the baby out of here. So, you walk out. Here's my Christmas tree. Let me show y'all my Christmas tree. So, I pretty much only do vintage thrifted ornaments. I just love all these wooden ornaments. I have bags and bags of them because every time I come across them, I have to save them and one year hopefully next year I'll have a bigger tree out here so I'll be able to put more ornaments up look at these old books and they're actually books but they're just smaller look the little apple basket I like pine cones I did spray this tree with fake snow a few years ago, but it's pretty much all gone. Okay, so let me show y'all the whole setup. So I have the Christmas tree here. I don't do like any kind of craziness at the top. I just like a simple um, star. And then I have this old cart that we had found at this warehouse. And then I just lined it with wood and the wheels actually work. So I am lucky enough to have a big shed and I just roll the Christmas tree into the shed after Christmas so it's already decorated. And then my uncle had made this little ladder with the little elves and I just love it. So that goes on my Christmas tree every year. It's definitely one of the favorite things that the kids like to play with. And these are just some fake presents because I don't actually leave our real presents out here. So I just wrap some fake ones the same way I wrap them in the house. And then y'all, look at this pillow my cousin made for me. Chenille Snowman. With uh, pom-poms. I love it so much. I think it just looks so cute right there. And then as you come in the house, I just have this little porch sign with some greenery and stuff at the bottom. And then on the other side of the Christmas tree, I have another one of those old cart carts, the same one that's on the inside of the house. 
and I just put those in my husband's boots and then I have my boots and they're green so they kind of work with our Christmas decor. I put some more pillows. This uh, pillow was in a Christmas haul and there's another one of those pillows for my cousin, a smaller one. And then some, um, I believe this pillow and this basket was in one of my hauls. So I just stuck them in the basket with a little bit of greenery and they look perfect. And then right here, I just have some lanterns and some candles. Y'all, I am loving this greenery. This is from Walmart. It's $3.50 for this whole thing. And I think it's like the modern Christmas greenery. I love it. I've bought a few every time I went. So if y'all are at Walmart, check out this greenery. I really, really like it. I've used it a few places in my house. And then, so I just put in a clear picture, picture and then I put some pine cones at the bottom to kind of hide the stem. And then our first year here, I made this fireplace. And it stays up year round now, because it looks so good. So I have an old picture frame that I just hung a wreath. And then I love these angels. I always pick them up when I find them. I don't know what they're made out of, but I love them. So I just put a garland, some books, and the little angels. And then I have two stockings hung that are just decorative. And then if you follow me on my Facebook page, this old um, fire extinguisher actually floated to me because we live on the water and yeah, it floated straight to me. So I put it out of the water. I was like, yep, that's mine. And here's a little basket with those vintage apples that I had found. And here's some more vintage apples and a little pail. This is um, that stool I made on one of the videos. And then this I made from an old, oh, uh, what is called? Like the, the things that go around a barrel of whiskey or whatever. So I turned this into a wreath. I was supposed to sell it, but I loved it so much, I kept it. I just painted these houses white and then added a little bit of gold trim, lots of greenery. And then I used some drop cloth and but tis the season. So that's on the window. You can kind of see it in the house too. And then this is a table that stays out on our screen and porch year round. And I just put a box with this reindeer and some greenery. So it just feels so cozy and Christmassy out here. We have the big sofa with the coffee table. And this little box, I had this by my bedroom, but the baby kept playing with it, so it has to go out here. And I'll show y'all where I used to put that. It looks so good, but you know, it's okay. All right, let's go check out the master bedroom that I decorated this year. I'm really excited about it. This is the hallway this is the hallway to my master bedroom and this stays up year round I just added some red ribbon to this wreath and then that little planter the metal one I was showing you outside I usually leave it right here but like I said because the baby I had to pick it up but oh it looks so good right there so this is the first year I decorate my master bedroom and I love it it's so cozy in here and it really didn't take that long. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got. So I did order this blanket from Target. It was like $30. I have been eyeing it for probably a year. And it went on sale, I'm like, let me just get it. Y'all, I got it in, I swear the thing was as big as a napkin. It didn't even fit on my bed, like it was so tiny. So I returned it and I saw, when we were leaving, I saw this tablecloth. And I'm like, that's it. That is exactly what I want for my bed. So this is actually a tablecloth. I paid $16 for it. 
it's nice and long it goes all the way to the ground it is perfect I did not use want a usable blanket I don't need a usable blanket I just wanted something really cute and then this is from Target as well I saw that when we we're walking out it's a uh, I believe it's Chip and Joanna's line and it was $25 but I love it and it matched perfectly with the blanket and then I keep some greenery up year round over my bed. I think this is eucalyptus. I got it from Amazon and I can put the link. It's really pretty. And so I just added some greenery in there and then a mistletoe down the middle. And then this is just some of those trees that I got from Target. I wish I would have ordered a bunch more of these because I just feel like there's so many places that I could have stuck these. And then I love my brass, so these little brass bunnies stay in my bedroom year round and I just added a little uh, ribbon to them. And this brass candlestick, that was in one of my hauls. And I just stuck a nice bright red candle on top of it. Some little Christmas books. And then y'all, I got this from the Family Dollar. I thought it was so cute. And that's my weighted blanket. Do y'all sleep with a weighted blanket? I love mine. And then on this side, we got this little house from one of my haul videos. I put some more Christmas books up, another candlestick, and this greenery from Walmart that I love. I hope y'all enjoyed my Christmas home tour 2019. I really like how everything turned out. Please let me know what was y'all favorite part. Next year, I'll probably be doing a lot of the same things, but just expanding to different areas of my house. And when do y'all take y'all Christmas decorations down? I just finished, it's Christmas Eve, so I feel like I'm gonna leave them up till the middle of January. We're in Louisiana, so we don't have a winter. So once the Christmas decorations come down, it's just pretty much year-round decorations from here on out till Halloween again, probably. I think that's the next holiday that I decorate for. So, yeah, I'm going to leave them up and enjoy them for a little while. Um, so, y'all have a Merry Christmas, and please like and subscribe to Julie's Designs and Signs for more DIY inspiration and home decor. Thanks for watching, and give this video a big...